This video is intended to give an explanation and some video examples of improper blocking in live play. The three main points are that the player in possession stops or reduces their speed to a slow canter. A teammate may not block a defender um, from making a play on that player unless they were already engaged before the slowdown or the player is clearly behind. Here you can see the white player leaves the ball for his teammate and sets a pick. Same thing here, the white player slows down, waits for the block, and then runs off it. Both of these would be fouls under the tournament condition. Red player slows down, waits for his player to set a pick, and runs off it. Again, another example here. Deep neck shot. And once the player receives the ball, he brings uh, his horse down to a stop, waits for his teammate to block, and then runs off that block. This is another example of an improper block which is not permitted. Once the um, white player brings the game to a standstill and leaves the ball, then goes and sets a block on the uh, blue player. Again, these are all examples of fouls under the tournament condition. In this example, the white player is facing away from the goal that he's attacking, brings the game to a stop, and then his teammate sets a block on the red player who is attempting to make a hook. Now the rule states that blocking cannot occur if the defender is clearly behind the player in possession of the ball. And for the purpose of this rule, we don't consider someone to be clearly behind simply because they're behind the horse's tail. If, you, if the defender is between the player and the goal that they're attacking, they can't be blocked. And this is to prevent players simply turning away from goal to allow a pick to be set that they can run off. 